Hello guys, this is Damian from forexbolt.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So currently we're approaching the chart of the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair. The chart you're looking at is a one minute chart and it shows a clean and clear range of the forex pair. The range is marked with the blue lines on the chart and it came as a result, as a post factum of the bullish impulse which got the price action through the upper level of the previous purple bearish channel. When we switch to the 5 minute chart you can see the purple bearish channel, the breakout through the purple bearish channel, the bullish breakout the followed bullish price impulse and the current range. Ok, we decided to start the video now in order to approach the current behavior of the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair. As you see, the price of the pair first broke the upper level of the range, however an increase did not appear. Currently, we see that the price action is breaking the lower level of the range and the breakout looked persuasive. Therefore, we intend to short the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair on the assumption that the price action is likely to decrease as a result of the bearish breakout. Furthermore, in most of the cases, when we approach a reversal, a reversal, a current reversal, it is likely that the price action returns to the already broken level for a test. In this relation, we believe that the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair might even return to the area of the already broken upper level. Of the purple channel in order to test it as a support. This is how a resistance level turns into a support. This was the reason why we opened our short trade. Now let's put a stop loss order for our trade. Since we used the breakout through the lower level of the channel to open our trade, it might be a good idea to use the same channel to position our stop loss order. For this reason, we will use the highest point of the blue range to place our stop loss order. At the same time, we will put our take profit order somewhere near, near the already broken purple upper level of the previous bearish channel. We assume that 113.45 is a good level to do this over here, or maybe slightly above of 113.47. As you see, the target is relatively small. It equals it equals 10 pips. Uh, therefore, this trade is considered to be a scalp trade because we intend to scalp the forex market for a minimum price move. And this trade could even take like few minutes. Now let's mark each of the levels on the chart. First we put our entry at 113.57. Then we put our stop loss order at 173, 113.73. Sorry. I'm going to mark this with red. It's nearly in the same area. We use rounded numbers. And the take profit order goes on 113.47. 
marking this one with white over here. As you see, the bearish breakout through the lower level of the channel is the more persuasive breakout from the two. This is why we intended to use this breakout in order to take a, to take a trade with the American dollar Japanese forex pair, Japanese yen forex pair. So now I, I suggest that we pause the video and we'll come back later to see if the price action really completed our target in this trade. Okay, we're back to see that the price action has passed nearly half of the target we set on the chart. And as you see, the bearish price action keeps going. Switching to the one minute chart will show us this in a better way. On the one minute chart, we can even like place a bearish trend line which measures the price decrease. This line we can use like yellow color to visualize. And uh, we currently see that the price action attempts to create a bullish candle. However, this should not last long since the, the potential decrease to the already broken upper level of the purple channel looks like the more reasonable uh, outcome in our case. Zooming again the one minute chart. Okay, we see that the pressure appears in the 113.45 level. And we believe that soon we should have results with our trade and our take profit target at 113.47. Therefore, let's do another pause now and uh, get back in a few minutes in order to see how are things going with our trade. Okay, guys, a few minutes later, we're back to see that the price action is currently attempting another bearish impulse toward our target at 113.47 and we assume that uh, this bullish impulse might actually bring the price action to, to our target. This happens after the price bounce from the yellow bearish trend line we just built like a few minutes ago. And we see that the price action is currently approaching our target. And we believe that in few seconds, our trade should be closed on profit. Nope, not yet. We patiently, we wait with patience to see how our trade closes on profit. Let's switch to the one minute chart. Yeah, we remind that our target is located. Uh, at 113.47 below the white line you see on the chart. We will even take the line and... Oops, we just moved our target by mistake. We wanted to take the line and to move it in order to make it visible. Over here. And now we wait for the price action to, to complete our target at... 113.47 Also, it is important to emphasize that if by any unlucky chance the price action did not reach our target and breaks this beautiful yellow bearish trend line, we will be forced to close the trade immediately because uh, the target might not even get reached. So we're waiting 
to see which of the two scenarios is going to to happen in the next few minutes probably or even seconds but notice that after the range breakout the price action has really been following this uh, yellow bearish trend which got tested like for third time over here which speaks of the validity of the level and it looks like a like a nice resistance level on the chart in order to, to make decisions if this trend gets broken now we'll immediately close the trade in order to try stay profitable and if the price action bounces again from the trade our from the trend our trade will be closed uh, will be closed by our take profit order which is at 113.47 we currently see a trend breakout but we need to see the candle closing above the trend in order to confirm the breakout as you see the candle got back underneath which implies that that bears are really fighting in this case okay the candle closed slightly above the trend line which is the re and we intended to close our trade as a result of the trend breakout but uh, actually the price action quickly re returned hitting our take profit order and closing our fully profitable trade so this is how it works on the forex market nothing is 100 percent sure good thing is that even when the trend got broken in bearish direction the price action immediately returned and managed to hit our take profit order at 113.47 so thank you very much for watching this was damian from forexvault.com looking forward to see you on the next live forex trading session and until then i wish you happy trading